Hello, I'm Brad Eli. Today's Wednesday, August 2nd, 2023. Here are your latest Church Milton headlines. A former Albany bishop entered a civil marriage with a woman after the Vatican denied his request to be laicized. In a recent interview, Bishop Howard Hubbard explained, In March, I received notice from the Vatican that my request had been denied. I was encouraged to wait patiently until seven civil lawsuits against me alleging sexual misconduct had been adjudicated. In 2018, Church Militant reported Albany was a predator's playground under Hubbard, who was himself accused of abuse. Americans believe more in angels than in demons and more in heaven than in hell. This according to yet another recent poll that showed 69% of those surveyed believe in angels and heaven, while only 56% believe in the devil and 58% in hell. The poll further revealed at least two-thirds of the public believes in the power of prayer and that science and nature cannot explain everything. The state of Oklahoma is resisting woke ideology, protecting women-only spaces with a new executive order. Tuesday, Governor Kevin Stitt signed an order dubbed the Women's Bill of Rights, defining the words female and woman in law, and barring biological males from spaces such as women's prisons, shelters, bathrooms, and locker rooms. Today we're taking a stand against this out-of-control gender ideology that is eroding the very foundation of our society. And, our, and we are going to be safeguarding the very essence of what it means to be a woman. A German lay group is condemning a cardinal for chastising a priest who conducted same-sex blessings. Cardinal Reiner Velke of Cologne was attacked by the group after he warned the priest against performing such blessings in the future. Undeterred by Velke's warning and the Vatican's pronouncement against same-sex blessings, a lay leader asserted, I hope bishops will sanction blessing celebrations for same-sex couples, but also for divorced people who have remarried. Hundreds of churches in India have been torched in the majority Hindu region of Manipur in the last three months. Some officials, including Cardinal Oswald Gracias of Bombay, are asserting the attacks stem from tribal conflicts, not religious ones. But a Christian who witnessed a church burning commented, the large-scale attack on churches across communities makes it evident that it has a religious angle to it. I'm Brad Eli. Those are your church mill and headlines. Please watch The Vortex today where Michael talks about bishops raking in taxpayers' money. God bless you.